And welcome back. This is round two of single elimination bracket. We are back with Everest who dominated Vega Dream on the last round, but they are now going against Carbon Domination. I am Pat here again with Chili for our last round. How are you, Chili? Hey, I'm good, Pat. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure commentating these games and just, yeah, seeing the amazing Splatoon talent out there. As you kind of correctly pointed out, Everest did dominate their last set, but will they be dominated by Carbon Domination? That is the question. And if Carbon Domination's track record is anything to go by, this will be a very, very scary game for Everest because, yeah, Carbon Domination's, um, yeah, they're... A very 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 scary team for good reason but yep yeah, this this will be uh, our last um commentary kind of showcase tonight and then we'll be handing over to the wonderful hat and genie seven who will be your um company for the remainder of the evening so yeah thank you very much folks for joining us we've seen a carbon deco coming out for carbon domination as would be expected and everest are gonna raise their own carbon deco i love it this is gonna be a scrappy mess Battle of the Carbons on Inglot Art Academy, Clam Blitz. Clam Blitz on this map is so, so unique in that way with the way... Oh, wow! Well, <laughs> two down already in favor of Carbon Domination. But Everest is going to really get in and get this... turn this into trades. So yeah, I'm really thing. surprised. I'm actually really surprised that did turn into trades because uh, that was really, really solid play by that swashing machine. And looks like map control is in Carbon Domination's favor too. Mm -hmm. It's going to continue to be that way as Carbon Domination are getting the majority of the picks in this opening segment. But we know how good Everest are. This won't be trivial for Carbon. They are going to get a first barrier break and the map is looking very, very yellow, isn't it? But it is quite a small map as well, so things can change quite quickly. Things can change and it looks like Carbon Domination will not score more in this first push, but more than two Super Clans uh, lead for the first minute. That's a pretty good start in favor of Carbon Domination. Everest is not out of it yet. They are taking control of their platforms, of the stacks, and now they are ready to push, get mid for themselves and get some clans. Yep, and it looks like they are slowly starting to recover, but as they recover, oh. two go down. Again, lots of good trades and revenge kills here. So in terms of actual exchanges, Everest are trying to hold their own. Carbon Domination just seem to slightly edge out the map control or just get the odd extra pick that is weighing it in their favor right now. Um, two power clams in isn't isn't great a minute in. You don't want to be on the back foot by that much, but it is very, very recoverable on this Ooh. map. I love that movement onto the uh, block. That was so sneaky, but then... Uh, making the decision to drop back down, which I do think was the right decision under the circumstances, but very, very cheeky movement there by the Carbon. Brilliant splat on Danger there. And again, Carbon Domination, slight numbers advantage, significant map advantage. And yeah, we'll see if they can get that uh, penalty wilted away, but they're gonna have to retreat for now. They have to retreat. Everest finally getting some space on right now. It's just the carbon that's up. It's going to be a delayed wipe and Everest, they get a push of their own. They open the basket, score some clams. They don't have that many clams, but they have full control of the enemy platform. Cad with the squeezer is going to put a few more clams in. That's not going to be the lead for Everest and that's going to be the end of that push. Oh, Great defense. The, the potential of that push was unreal. If they had a few more clams going into that, that could have been an absolutely devastating score, but I think the crab tank came out a little bit too early. And like I said, Pat, there wasn't really enough clams there to do um, a real big damage to the kind of power clam basket. And with that in mind, Carbon Deco, a Carbon Domination, sorry, I got Carbon on the mind right now, um, managing to get really good control after free going down. And now we're in a much more neutral state in the game again. Everest have really evened it up, so there's everything to play for, but they're gonna have to get another push like that out if they want to put Carbon Domination on the back foot and look at how many picks they are getting. They are sort of getting shut down, but this is so scrappy right now. So many picks and they managed to break the barrier, but they don't have any clams to follow up. They don't have even control of the basket. It, it looks like this is just gonna apply penalty, give a free super clam to Everest and that's what you want to see if you're Everest honestly mm. getting that super clan is going to be very useful to their next push 
then explosive being prepared right now with that aggressive moves by the splash. Ooh. <laughs> and they did very well there, given they were in a corner against uh, two of Carbon Domination. That was really, really good play by them. Um, you're right, actually, Pat. I do think, based on that last exchange, it was actually bizarrely kind of in Everest's favor, even though they were the ones on the defensive, because that power clan is going to um, hopefully allow them to kind of enable for quite an impressive play. But Carbon Domination shown they can play defensively as well as offensively. They are not a kind of one-trick team. Look at the aggression here. It's just so many trades and revenge kills. Um, we've got some really, really good offensive gameplay from both sides here. And it looks like there's going to be an attempt to sneak in a power clam here. They do break the basket and they need two small clams to take the lead. Are they going to be able to do that? The Carbon's trying to sneak up, but the timer's wilting. They get one in. They get the lead with 15 seconds to go. Carbon Domination have to counter push if they're going to take this game. Everest forcing Carbon Domination into a very challenging position. Everest right now, they could create such an upset on getting that win, getting that lead right now is going to force Carbon Domination to go on a full out attack and it looks like it's going to come in. The lead getting right back to them and Carbon Domination takes game one. Wow, that was uh, very, very intense. <laughs> Game one um, looked really in Carbon Domination's favor to start with, and then Everest feels like suddenly woke up, matched their offensive kind of pace, and really, really put a scare on Carbon Domination there. Um, very, very clutch kind of power clam kind of uh, scoring, protected by that Booyah bomb, just to secure that process. And yeah, but again, classic case of blink and you'll miss it with the lead swapping over there as we were going into overtime. So. Super engaging game one, um, really impressive com uh, like showing coming in there from Carbon Domination. Uh, but Everest, you know, very strong team, done very well in the upper echelons of Looty Season 13, so we cannot count them out yet at all. You can't count them out, and they will have the opportunity to get a comeback, to get a point on the board on Macazones, classic of all classics. Yeah, I, I love, um, I absolutely adore this map mode combination. Uh, we're all veterans of Maker Mark by now if we played uh, the previous platoons, but it's just, it's just a nice map. There's just like options, there's terrain to use to make sneaky offensive plays. It's not small, but it isn't like completely oversized either. It's um, so it's a, it's a really fun um, map mode combination where there's a lot of viable strategies. Um, mm -hmm. You can be quite creative in how you approach retakes, but um, yeah, you, you you tend to not be bored either. It's not really people just sitting around. There's there's a lot of kind of uh, normally like engagements that uh, keep things kind of entertaining. So we will see what both teams have to offer. Everest, no doubt a bit disheartened that they lost that lead that they clutched, um, but understandable against the team of Carbon Domination's caliber. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've got a chance to turn it around here. This is a best of three, so they will need to turn it around this game to stay in this tournament. Everest back against the wall, as you said, if they lose this one, there is no loser's bracket. This is go home. And I, I mean, the carbon is going back from carbon domination and it's coming back from Everest too. Both teams sure of their choice. I don't see any real comp change except for the bucket uh, on the side of uh, carbon domination. QR, QR stealth jump uh, bucket as well, but with the... Um... With the kind of vanilla kit, which is interesting, because I've seen that more with the, uh, the you know, quirky angle shooter zip caster kind of build. So, interested to see what they do. Carbon Domination getting a clutch couple of picks to get the zone, but then getting picked themselves. One of the members very injured in the zone there and managing to escape. So, yeah, very interesting start. Everest now have a numbers advantage and should be able to retake the zone with two down. They do three down, so Everest have a really good chance here. The last player did jump out as well, Pat, so Everest have a great chance of putting Carbon Domination in a really dire spot right now. And that jump out is key. He's going to mean that a try strike is coming right now. He's going to stop Everest's control of the map. And <laughs> another try strike coming here, getting control of the zone in favor of Carbon Domination. But Carbon Domination, they pay that dearly. It's just the Carbon right now trying to survive, <laughs> and Everest is 
back on top. They have the zone for themselves. They are chipping away at the penalty. We can't get through one sentence without someone dying or being revenge killed or being traded. There are splats everywhere and I absolutely love it. The uh -huh. triple ink strike positioning and play from both teams has been amazing as well. It seems to be a trend of people throwing good uh, ink strike initially kind of behind someone and then directly on them to force them to back up into the original ink strike, which m seems to be clutching quite a few kills. Carbon Domination managing to get the zone right now, but not exactly comfortably. Uh, the time is stopping on 69, which is poetic in and of itself, but they are going to get a slight lead here. And this is where Everest seems to struggle. They struggle to secure picks and free go down after that Inzuka shot. So Carbon Domination managing to do quite well here and the last player alive making that timer go down a little bit more while they regroup with their teammates. And it's been a delayed wipe for both teams, but a <laughs> bit more delayed in favor of Carbon Domination and Batman, they get to keep the zone on right now. Everest managed to apply penalty, but Carbon Domination in control. Still, still there, I guess, or um, not? Oh, it's it's switching so fast. It is. It's crazy, and I love that the, the, the carbon just seeing the beer bomb and just ready to kill on the landing does so beautifully. But just everyone's dead all the time, and then just alive again, and then dead again. It is it is so offensive from both sides, but I, I love it. It does feel like Carbon Domination are getting a slight more edge in terms of number of exchanges that they're winning. I think that's why we're seeing them in the lead right now and then chipping away at the penalty in the way they are but Everest have shown they can keep retaking they're not exactly being phased and look at that play there one down the duel he's just about rolling out in danger and assisting with a the kill there and this is quite good now for Everest they have a bit more map control it's four up a piece beautiful kill by the duelies again and if they can get deep into Carbon Domination's base here this could be a devastating flank incoming these duelies are doing the business and forcing mm. Carbon domination to really, to really look, uh, really look back and allowing really Everest to get that lead, extend that lead. But yeah. Right now, carbon domination, they take the whole map back. I, I just love the positioning of these specials from Carbon Domination because both the ink strikes um, didn't really get Everest. They did force Everest back, but they didn't, you know, really secure the objective. But they forced them back into a position where the Booyah Bomb then just cut away Everest retreat. And look at this now! Free down from Everest again before I can finish my sentence. <laughs> and uh, Carbon Domination now suddenly looking incredibly scary. Um, they've got the lead, their penalty's gone. Everest are struggling to not be suffocated by the incredible offensive display that Carbon Domination are putting out here. It's gonna be a last push from Everest. They need to throw everything that they have if they want to stop that zone, but it's not gonna be enough. Carbon Domination is going to get game two on the round. They advance. Whew. <laughs> Congratulations to Carbon Domination. I think they really had to work for that, but they managed to just about come up on top on a bunch of, yeah, really engaging, um, yeah, offensive exchanges, which was just absolutely brilliant to watch. Congratulations to Everest for making it this far as well. Always a team that give an impressive showing, but their run will come to an end here. And our time on commentary will come to an end here as well, Pat. So where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter at PatOrTom with underscores in between. Uh, where can people find you, Chili? You can find me on Twitter as well at ChiliBoy underscore Splat. I'm normally there just loitering and retweeting Splatoon stuff that uh, <laughs> interests me. So, yeah, do, do come along and say hello. Um, been an absolute pleasure commentating with you folks. We'll be taking a short break here now while we swap over to Genie and Hat, who will be your wonderful commentary duo, seeing out the rest of Paddling Pool. Um, don't go anywhere. The action has been absolutely non-stop tonight. It's been amazing. And I'm sure me and Pat will still be loitering in chat to see. <laughs> See things oh, yeah. out but um yeah pleasure as always pat and uh yeah we will um see you around folks take care
Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or are still figuring out how to join, we've a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today!